there are nearly one and a half million wheelchair users in the UK. Many struggle with off-road terrains which can be tough to handle in a regular wheelchair. Tim Morgan has come up with a solution, the mountain trike, an all-terrain wheelchair that is as comfortable on sand as on snow. It came really from my mountain bike experience, so I raced downhill in the Welsh National Downhill Mountain Bike Championships and in doing those races I do sometimes see people get hurt and that's what got me thinking about what wheelchairs were around and there didn't seem to be an all-terrain wheelchair that was off-road capable but also practical. Many of the wheelchair users that Tim spoke to during his research said there were activities they wanted to take part in and places they wanted to go, but there wasn't an accessible product out there. The main feature of the mountain trike really are the lever drive. So the idea of the levers is that the person doesn't need to touch the wheels to propel it. So they've got much more efficient drive, but they also keep their hands nice and clean in all weathers. The lever drives a chain and sprocket system, similar to on a mountain bike, so the user simply pushes forwards to go forwards. Steering is similar to using a joystick. It also means that you can ride the trike one-handed to some extent, because all your steering is off one hand, so even if you're only pushing one side, you can still keep yourself on a nice straight course, so that's great if you're holding hands with a partner, or on the phone, or carrying something. The beauty of the uh, mountain trike is that suddenly I'm getting out under my own steam, so I'm exercising, I'm raising my heartbeat, I'm, I'm feeling uh, good about the exercise. It retails for a little shy of £4,000, around the same as a top-end mountain bike, and it's not cheap to make. The challenge is turning it into a sustainable business. Someone who's done just that is apprentice winner Tom Pellero. We got his thoughts on the trike. This is a fantastic feat of engineering uh, and design. So his kind of challenge is how do we take this and actually turn a, a company uh, around this first product? Um, so he's got this really kind of how do I turn this one product into a portfolio of products? He's right. At the moment we have one product, but I've got lots of plans to build on that and build a range of various different mountain trikes that all just widen our, uh, our ability to meet the needs of more people. Tim has recently won approval to sell the trike in the US. That could mean as many as half a million people could have it in the future.